Ah, the Cessna 172, a true marvel of aviation engineering. Later today, I'll be flying on the most popular aircraft in the world, with over 44,000 produced. But before we take to the skies, there's one crucial step we mustn't overlook, and that's to sump the fuel tanks. If you didn't know what something is, it's where you drain the fuel from the lowest part of the tank. Today, I'll be demonstrating this essential pre-flight maneuver to ensure that our flight is nothing short of safe and smooth. Sumping your fuel tanks, my friends, isn't just a chore. It's a life-saving practice. In the worst case that our fuel is contaminated, water, debris, and sediments tend to collect at the bottom. The good news is we have sumps to drain these particles. Anything other than pure fuel entering the engine can lead to disaster. From clogged pipes, to damaged cylinders, to loss of engine power, the list goes on. Now you might be wondering, how does water get into the fuel tank? Some of these aircraft are over 20 years old and may not be completely sealed. There's always a chance that humidity from the air could seep into the fuel tanks. As for debris, wear and tear and rusting of the airplane parts is always a possibility. So, how do we do it? We've got these handy sumps located strategically around the aircraft. Since the fuel tanks are located inside the wings, there are five on each wing and three under the nose, each marking a low point in the tank, with the nose sump being the lowest point in the entire fuel system. With our trusty container here, we just probe it into the sump and hold for three seconds. One, two, three, and boom, we have our first sample of fuel. Now we only have to repeat this 12 more times. And then this last part, it's not really easy for the normal person to do. Ugh. And here's our, here's our full sample. And now that we have all our fuel, we can swirl the sample around. We're looking for a clear line which indicates the presence of water, while the brie would be at the bottom. Anything floating around inside is a red flag. Keep in mind, here at Reed Hillview Airport, we only use unleaded 94 gas, while most airports in America still use 100 leaded, which has a blue tint. So make sure you know your distinctions. Now that we're done checking the fuel, we can carefully empty the container back into the fuel tank, making sure to avoid any spillage. And try not to touch the fuel with your bare skin. Remember, safety first. And remember, it's not just about avoiding accidents, it's about ensuring our engine roars to life without a hitch so we don't have to pay the hefty maintenance costs. Aviation is all about redundancy, and slumping is just one of the many, many ways to prevent emergencies in the air. So there you have it. That's how you sump your fuel, a ritual of diligence and responsibility. Now with our tanks cleared of any potential trouble, we're ready to take flight. And as we always say, a mile of road will only take you a mile, but a mile of runway, it can take you anywhere in the world. Till next time, I'll see you in the skies.